concerns of the caretakers for newborns to one year olds. As caretakers of newborns to one year olds, it is common to have a lot of questions about the growth and development of your child. In this video, we hope to cover some of the common concerns you may encounter with children around this age. Jaundice. If bilirubin builds up in your baby's body, it causes jaundice. If your baby has jaundice, you'll notice the whites of their eyes and their skin look yellowish. There are three different types of jaundice. If jaundice needs to be treated, your baby may need to be in the hospital for a few days under special lights called phototherapy. At low levels, jaundice will not harm your baby. In rare cases, very high levels can cause brain damage. The second type of jaundice can happen when your blood type is different from your baby's blood type. A third and less common type of jaundice is caused by liver disease. Call HealthLink at 811 or your healthcare provider now if your baby has any of the following such as yellow skin and whites of their eyes in the first 24 hours. Colic. Sometimes a baby will cry for longer periods of time no matter what you do. This type of crying could be colic. Colic is when a healthy baby is irritable, fussy, or cries for three hours or more a day, more than three times a week, for at least one week. Colic tends to follow the same pattern of typical crying. It's at the high end of the normal range. Colic can be very upsetting and exhausting for parents, so be sure to take good care of yourself. Call HealthLink at 811 or your healthcare provider now if your baby has any of the following. They cannot stop crying and you've done everything you can to soothe them or they're crying and you feel stressed, frustrated, angry, or alone. When your baby cannot stop crying, you may find yourself feeling frustrated or angry as your stress level rises. If this happens, put your baby in a safe place like their crib, cradle, or bassinet. You can leave the room and gently close the door and take time to calm yourself before you try to seek them again. Also, don't be afraid to ask your partner, friends, or family for help. Teething. Babies' teeth usually start coming in at around 6 months old, although some babies may get their first teeth earlier or later. Teething is not an illness, it's a normal and temporary process. Teething may be uncomfortable for your baby and you may find that they are fussy and restless, have more saliva and drool, and have swollen gums. Be sure to clean your baby's teeth every day to help keep them healthy and to prevent tooth decay. Remember to check for tooth decay regularly. Many foods have natural or added sugars in them that can lead to tooth decay. To provide your baby comfort, you can do things such as gently rub their gums with your clean finger or give them a cold, clean cough to chew on. Items that are not safe to give your baby for teething relief are raw vegetables or teething products such as lemon gels. To keep your baby's teeth healthy, avoid snacks that stick to teeth such as teething biscuits and cookies and offer water if your baby is thirsty between meals and snacks. Take your baby off the breast and remove the bottle before they fall asleep. Going to the dentist. Take your baby to the dentist by their first birthday or within six months after their first tooth comes in, whichever comes first. Solids. Around six months old, your baby will start to develop the ability to move food from the front of your mouth to the back so they can swallow safely. Solid foods are introduced gradually at this time. Signs that your baby is ready for solid foods include that they can sit up with little help, they have good head and neck control and are able to turn their head away if they don't want to eat, and they can open their mouth when food is offered. Timing for starting solid foods is important. Introducing solid foods when your baby is ready helps them to accept new foods and flavors more quickly, as well as get all the vitamins and minerals they need such as iron. A few tips to get your baby off to a good start when starting solid foods around 6 months include starting with iron-rich foods, offering solid foods at least once a day, and being patient with them. Skincare. 
Newborn Rash is a blotchy red pinpoint sized rash found on your baby's body. The rash may not look nice, but it's normal and does not need to be treated. Newborn rash is not the same as diaper rash or other types of rashes that include other symptoms like fever. Cradle Cap is a thick, waxy, or flaky scales on your baby's cup. It is caused by normal changes in your skin and it usually goes away on its own by the time your baby is one year old. Jaundice, colic, teething, solids, and skincare are all common concerns that caretakers of newborns to one year olds may have. This video depicted normal and abnormal changes that may occur as part of a child's growth and development as they condition from being a newborn to a one year old. This video is for information purposes only and is not for medical use. If you have further questions, contact your local health provider or health link at 811.